Hi everyone, this is Professor Dan. I'm an instructor of the E-Plus program at the University of Colorado and putting together these Tinkercad uh, how-tos to yeah, just have some fun, talk about what goes on with Tinkercad, how to do it, uh, learn some fundamentals. And so what we learned in our previous two videos are you know, how to do buttons turning on an LED and then how to do it with Arduino expensively. We just spent an extra 25 bucks for this Arduino, even more with, with the breadboard. So when we hit start simulation, we were able to turn our light on and off by hitting this button. But what I want to do is show some of the nuances. So that was an expensive way to do it, but we can now use Arduino, the power of Arduino, to make our button a toggle switch. So we'll have to think about that. One thing I wanted to show you is what if I didn't do a double equal sign? So we talked about that in the last video, but I start my simulation, I say B state equals one. Hey, look at that. My light is always on. And so what's interesting is when I'm hitting my button and I'm checking my serial monitor, I'm getting the correct values. But what this says is B state is assigned the value of one. I need to check to see if B state is equal equal one. I want to see what that value is. And I only want to turn it on if it's equal to one. But now I want to make it a toggle switch. So that's enough of that. So how does this look? This looks kind of interesting. When I am not hitting the button, I get a bunch of zeros. When I hit the button, I get a bunch of ones. When I'm not hitting the button, a bunch of zeros. And I am hitting the button a bunch of ones. So what does that look like? Well, let me see if I can share my screen. Let me do that. What does that look like? So this is time. This is Arduino output. Not hitting button, hitting button. Not hitting button, hitting the button. Not hitting button, hitting button. So, if we want to take our LED and turn it on here, LED off here, can we assume it was LED off originally? LED on here. How do we do that? Well, we know that that's a one and this is zero. And what this value is, this is B state, right? We assign that in our code. So if B state is equal to one, do we always want to turn the LED on? No, because over here, B state is also equal to one. And we want to turn it off there. Hmm. So let's think about this more. So what was the value here? B state is equal to zero. So right before we turned our LED on originally, our B state was zero. So if we're one time step Further on, B state is equal to one, which means that our previous state is equal to zero. And that's our toggle condition. Because the same thing happened right here. Pre state is equal to zero. And so in this case, we're going to need some additional variables. We want to know if the LED is on, we want to turn it off. And if the LED is off, we want to turn it on whenever, let's call this time down here, pre-state is equal to zero and B-state is equal to one. Now there's a little nuance with buttons and that this right here actually looks like this. Our buttons bounce. It sounds to us like they go click, but they actually bounce back and forth. If we look at it with an oscilloscope, 
we can see that they bounce back and forth for five milliseconds and we can't even perceive it, but Arduino can. So whenever we have this toggle condition, we wanna wait five milliseconds to make sure that we don't have a bunch of toggles happen without our knowledge. All right, so what does our code look like? Let's go back to our code. So here we go. Originally, we had our input going to pin eight. We're gonna keep that the same. Our output coming from pin 13, and we had an if else statement. We're actually gonna have a different if else statement. And we know we need two new variables. We need a variable, integer, we'll call it pre-state. We'll just assign that to zero. And then we also wanna know what our LED state is. And we'll turn that to zero initially as well. So if we go back, this is our LED state. We're gonna to wanna to toggle that from on to off and off to on. So we need an LED state variable and we need this pre-state variable because we need something that can tell what our previous state was. All right, so what does our code look like? Well, we added those two variables. How do we use them? Well, the first thing we wanna do is take a reading. There we go. So we're gonna get rid of everything else. We take a reading. If B state is equal to, well, what do we care about? If B state is equal to one. That's one of our toggle conditions. Let's double check that. So right here, B state is equal to one. And pre state was equal to zero. We have our current state equal to one and our previous state is equal to zero. Cool. Switch back. B state is equal to one and then we'll have and, that's two ampersands, pre state equal to zero. If that's true, what's the first thing we wanna do? Well, if the LED was off, we wanna turn it on. And if the LED was on, we wanna turn it off. So another if statement. If LED state is equal to zero, LED state equal to one, else if L LED state is equal to one, LED state equals zero. And so you can see how it's really easy to get your double and single equal signs mixed up. But I think we're good. So if our current state is one and our previous state was zero, that's how we know when to toggle. Ooh, what we said is we wanna have a little delay, of five milliseconds, just for debouncing. I'm not sure Tinkercad has bouncy buttons, but I know the real world does. If LED state is equal to zero, LED state equals one. Else, if LED state is equal to one, LED state is equal to zero. Yeah, so we toggle that. And now we're out. And now what we want to do is turn on our light or turn off our light. So that's digital right. And then instead of saying high or low, what we can say is just what the value of LED state is. Pretty cool, huh? And then the last thing we want to do is set our pre-state equal to our B state. So what this says is our initial run through our pre-state is zero. We check if our B state is high or low, whether or not we have the button pushed. 
If it's high and our previous state was low, toggle this variable called LED state. If it's not, none of that happens. Then, depending on what value the LED state was, which we set to be zero, so our light should initially be off, we want to digital write that value. When we toggle it, it will turn on. And then the last thing we do is set our previous state to our current B state so that now that this ends, our next iteration through our previous state is equal to what our B state was for the previous loop. And when we take a new reading, we have our previous state in our new state. But that's all pretty confusing. So let's give ourselves serial.print B state. Or let's do pre-state first. Serial.print. And we can give ourselves a space. And we can do serial.print ln our B state. So we can see what we have. And let's slow it down. Let's do delay. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. So we start our simulation. Oh, we got errors. Oh, I need a extra one of those. There we go. All right. So when I click on the button, click. It works, but there is some issues. So let's just look at our code and let's look at what's coming out of our serial monitor. So let's clear it. All right, so we have nothing but zeros. So now I click on it. There we go. Stop the simulation. Let's see if I can go up. So when I, when I didn't click on it, they were all zeros. When I clicked on it, the previous was zero, and the current was one, and our light turned on. And then when I held it down, nothing happened. And when I released it, nothing happened. All right, so let's watch it again. So let's clear it. So I'm clicking on it. There it turns on. I'm holding it down, and I see nothing but ones. And then I release it, and let's stop it. When I released it, its previous was one, and its current was now zero. So starting it again. So I hold the button down. Turns on, I release it, now we're off, and I hit it again, and it toggles. But it responds really slow because I have this blocking code right here. When I'm delaying, I can't do anything else. So I'm gonna get rid of that, clear it, and now it should respond a lot faster. So I'm gonna click on it, turns on, click on it again, turns off. Click on it again. I really don't like how slow Tinkercad sometimes responds. And that's a function of, you can see my simulator time is really slow. But there we go. All right, so how to make this a little bit better. How do we do it? Well, right here I have five lines of code. I'm gonna delete all of those. I can get rid of those five lines with just a little one line. I'm gonna say LED state is equal to not LED state. How do I do that? Well, because what this says is change what LED state is. If it's a zero, change it to a one. If it's a one, change it to a zero. Let's see if that works. So I'm running that. I click. And it still works. And I got rid of five lines of code. So what did we learn? Well, we learned when we're doing buttons and we want to use them as a toggle, we need a previous state because we care about the previous state of the button. And if we want to use a toggle, we can use this command right here.
we can say LED state is equal to not LED state. And so now we're using a button in Arduino more efficiently. We're having our button um, read as a sensor and we're able to toggle on and off. So pretty powerful stuff. Um, feel free to go back through and ask questions in the comments if you have any questions. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.